There we go. There we go. It's green. Yeah, it's, green. it's green. Something's touching it now. Unofficially, 60,000 deaths. This is the most times I've blown this whistle. Before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know about my awesome merch line, the Ghost Hunter Live a Little Merch Edition. The links for it are going to be down below. A lot of you guys were mind blown with this merch when you received it. A lot of you guys sent me pictures and I posted you on my vlog channel. Now because you guys absolutely love this merch, I kept it going. I increased the merch limit and I want to keep this on the merch store for a little bit longer just so you guys can get yourself some Christmas merch. This new merch line is honestly amazing. I absolutely love it. We got different types of sweaters we got stickers we got a zip up hoodie we got t-shirts we got another type of zip up hoodie and a hoodie that you can actually slip on as you guys can see these ghost hunter lel hoodies are honestly really really comfortable you got the lel brand on the back which is my brand right here live a little guys if you don't know what that means if you're not into hoodies that you can slip on we got the zip up hoodie as you guys can see over here and we also have the lel on the back of that and if you're not into hoodies and you want to wear a t-shirt like i'm wearing right now get yourself the ghost hunter t-shirt the link is down below. We also have the LAL on the back of the t-shirt as well. These are really comfortable. They're really cool and they fit the body really well. One thing I'm loving about this jersey style sweater is that how big the LAL marking is on the back. People can see you from a mile away when you wear this. And obviously on the front of it, we have the Ghost Hunter logo. As you guys can see, it's nice and big. And this type of sweater was surprisingly comfortable. And I know a lot of you guys ended up getting some of these. And if you did, make sure to send me photos of you wearing it so I can post pictures of you guys wearing them on my social media and on the vlog channel. Can't forget that I have the Ghost Hunter stickers as well. You can post these on your laptop, you can post these on your windows, on your walls, wherever the hell you want to post these. I want to see you guys grabbing a whole bunch of these. Links are going to be down below. Get yourself that Christmas merch before Christmas is over. I know you probably want to get your friends, your family, your goldfish, your dog, your cat some gifts. So get them while you can. The Ghost Hunter merch is really awesome, guys. It's honestly some of the best stuff that I've ever created and I want to share them with you guys. So the links are going to be down below. Now let's get into this video. So today I have a really special video for you guys. First of all, I have my good friend Angelo with me. Hello. And I have my good friend Omar with me. Hey! hey. Omar's Omar. back. And we have Tiffany over here. Hi, Tiffany. So we are at the Waverly Asylum, you guys. I, we drove like 15 hours to come out here and meet up with Omar and give you guys a banger of an adventure. We're gonna be investigating this place all night long today. Smash the like button and uh, make sure to follow everybody here. Their links are gonna be down below. This place is mega haunted. You guys know the Waverly. I came here years ago. I've done a lot of videos in here in the past and uh, we're here for more. You guys are always requesting more. We're here for more. He's been here all night long. I was just taking some photos right now, kind of like how you showed me on my iPhone. And I think Mo might have even grabbed the same picture. You can see right there in that photo, there's nothing there. Yeah. Okay. And then if you look at this photo, there's like a white mist. Dude, it literally looks like a, like a ghost. It looks like a ghost girl. Like actually. <laughs> no. All the way down in that hallway. The floor that we're in right now happens to be one of the most active when it comes to shadow people. And Mo's filmed here a couple times. He didn't even know this. So the fourth floor, this was actually used as like a, a nursing home, kind of like an illegal nursing home. And what they would do, kind of like a, if you ever played Call of Duty Zombies where they have those wood panels, they would have people on the other side or patients and there was just access for them to get food and water and sometimes they would even starve some of these patients. When they did some investigating, they seen that these patients like were covered in feces, urine. I mean, this floor smelled horrible. I mean, if you could just only imagine L Lots that. of abuse, lots of negativity. Lots of abuse, yeah. lots of neglect. But in other words, this fourth floor, and this is why I'm doing a separate dedicated video just here. It, it was, there was so much sadness here. So much like terrible abuse on some of these patients that were chained to the bed. I might split off a little bit, a little bit on my own, but also helping Omar with his video as well. But if you guys wanna see his dedicated video, I will be linking it down below as well. 
let's get on with this adventure. We're gonna split off a little bit. Omar and Tiffany are gonna go one way. By the way, I just seen this weird orb appear behind you, so good luck. Thanks. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go down this way and do our investigation here, me and Angelo. So the right here is the balcony. Back in the day when this was a tuberculosis hospital, this was the balcony where they would put all the old people here. Um, or the people that were sick, I should say. Look how crazy this is. And down here is just empty fields. And it would sit here and I guess get some sunlight. We're on the fourth floor right now, yeah. This is one of the haunted floors that has the shadow people in it. I guess Angel and I are breaking off. <laughs> Great, now I'm alone in the Waverly. I do wanna add that all of a sudden, I have a very, very strong headache the second I came up here. I don't know if it has anything to do with the drama and the traumatic stress that happened on the old folks that were locked up in the basically cages up on this floor. So this is, I think the end of this side. I'm honestly just walking around trying to see if there's any abnormalities in the area. Like if any doors are swinging open and shut, any windows are closing, any of the items that are left behind, like children's items are moving or any type of noises that we can hear. I know right now all we can hear is crickets and some wild animals, but trust me guys, this place is terrifying. Let's go and see what Angelo's up to over there. that come from? That came from the room there. From one of those rooms. Yeah. Kind of, right? It's kind of hard to hear with that damn... Yeah, I know, no, but I, I heard that clearly. So this is that room that's kind of like closed off. What a strange room. Obviously, there's nobody in here. And uh, I think Omar and Tiffany are way down there. Yeah, you guys can see their light way down there in that room. When I came here in the past, I did not have a K2 meter. Yo! What is that? What is that? Somebody's like running upstairs. Yeah, upstairs, yeah. Sitting here by the, the ball, trying to see if I can get any readings. So I just set down the uh, the flux over here by the ball, tr trying to ask some questions to see if there's anything here, and something's already affecting it. Like, see, so something's touching green right now. What's doing that? Are you one of the shadow people that live up here on this floor? Right, now we got the REM pod over there. What's going on with this thing? Something's just affecting it's affecting it. Hey spirits of the Waverly, you wanna come and talk to us? Communicate with us over here? Touch the REM pod over there. See that red light there on the floor? Can you just put your hand right through it? We had a lot of activity with that REM pod in the Wilson Castle recently. And on the flux device over here. Like, there's nothing in the way of this. You know, like, if I was in the way, see what I mean? I would be affecting that, but I'm not. But I do have, oh my god, I have a strong headache. Whew. Wow. Ever since we got up to this floor, I've been having the worst headaches, by the way. Really? Yeah, like terrible ones. You wanna touch the REM pod over there? Literally, as I'm saying that, this orb just went right into it. I'm gonna place this in this room over here, you guys. See, nothing's affecting it now. It was only out here. Yeah, it stopped because something was affecting it here. So, do you want to follow that machine into the room and touch it in there? The machine has allowed itself to calibrate now because before, something was affecting it and it wasn't calibrating. Hey, shadow people, or spirits, you want to touch my flux machine? Are you standing around us right now? Did you touch the ball? Were you the one that threw that ball down the hallway? Oh. 
gust, a gust of like cold air just brushed my neck, the back of my neck. Like actually. Was that you that touched the back of my neck? Touched the REM pod. Notice how- Something did touch my leg over here. Yeah, I remember you telling me that when we were with Omar. You know what's weird? I feel like, so the story of this floor, right? The people that were imprisoned in these kind of like cells, they didn't want to go back in here, they wanted out. They literally sealed them up with like nails and hammers. So what if the, the spirit isn't affecting that now because it doesn't want to go back in the room? It's possible. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this thing back out here, guys. And I'm gonna leave it right here in the hallway. Now look, see? See, that's proof right there that there is energy here in the hallway. And we're, we're too far to obviously... Yeah, because normally it should just reset. Like, it's, it's almost like someone's giving us a signal. Like a kind of like an SOS signal. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Maybe that's exactly what it's doing. Yeah. So look, it went to green. It's like, yes, I'm giving you a signal. Can you, can you flash the red to let us know that you're here? Dude, something's going crazy with that thing. I'd really like to somehow communicate with you. Should we try like, you want to touch the REM pod over there? So you'd think like, there could be some electromagnetic interference here, but if that was the case, then the REM pod would be going off and the K2 meter would be going off and they're not going off at all. It's crazy, dude. Like, it shouldn't be doing this at all. Putting it back in this room, you guys. Wow. It went quiet. See? Wow. <laughs> There's an energy right yeah. here. And that's proof for you guys right there. So we're ruling things out, right? Like, there's no electric interference here. Obviously, there's no electricity on this part of the building. His, his REM pod. Yeah, it's just concrete. The same floor here as the floor there. It's, it's concrete. Yeah. So whatever it is, it doesn't want to go in that room. So now it's calibrated. See, nothing's affecting that. When it's blue like that, it, it means nothing is affecting the, the flux device. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, thank you for that. We're going to move on now. I just want to rule some more out, guys. Um, we, we put the flux in a different room. Same thing. Not getting any noises from it. And it's starting to calibrate. Do you not like these rooms? Only when we put it in the hallway, it starts going crazy and it's like talking to us. Make the red pod go off. <gasps> what the f*** was that? What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, it sounded like a, like a child crying. Make the red pod go off. Or like a woman scream, kind of, right? All right, we gotta find where that that scream came from. I don't know if my camera picked up on it because of the stupid bird outside. The f is that? All right, never mind. Just a, a reflection of something, I guess, with the light mixing in. We're sitting here on the balcony. This is the t well, again the tuberculosis balcony where we need to keep patients out here in the sun. I'm taking like night photos, guys. Check this out. So, I caught this weird red orb yeah, really from Dead Ahead. Like, I took that from Dead Ahead. And then in the previous photo, it's not there. It's the same photo. I took it twice, one there and one there. And then it was gone, obviously. So, that, that looks like it was some type of... Yeah, it's like something manifested, exactly. Right on the balcony. We're on the opposite side of the fourth floor. I remember years ago, I was using one of those ghost apps to see if I can capture a ghost. And in this room right here, we caught something. So, something's touching it. Again. What's touching my flux machine? Spirits of Waverly. Shadow people of Waverly, I should say. We know shadow people linger around in these hallways. Come to us.
Again, it's not affecting the K2 meter. It's just affecting the flux. I wonder if, if I put it in one of the rooms here again. Let's try it out again. Will it do the same thing in this room? Or is it not afraid to go into this room over here? What's happening now? So nothing's obstructing the sensors. You have a sensor on the left and on the right. It seems that it, whatever it was down at the other hallway, yeah. it's afraid of the rooms. Yeah. These are common spaces, right? Yeah. This is where they would hang out, they would eat food and stay here in the winter. So maybe it's not afraid of these common spaces. Let's see if we can put it in another room, like an actual room where they stayed in. So there should be a room over here somewhere. All right, we got a room right here. Are you afraid to go into that room? It's just that one side of the building that it was happening. It's like touching left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. We have the necrophonic going. We have the flux going. <gasps> what the f is that? Was that from there? From behind me? Something just said, hey, but I felt its presence behind me. Oh my God. It's like, so, it's like the necrophonic said, hey, but I felt the energy from behind me. Hey, who's here? Are you an evil spirit? Are you are you one of the shadow people? Do you not like it here? Is it here? Here, yeah. How many ghosts are up here? Nine. What's your name? Are you touching the flux machine over there? Yeah. It just, it just, danger or demon? What was that? Are we in any danger? Yes. Demon again, demon again. Was it a bad idea for me to return here? That was my name. That said Mo. How do you know my name? Can you stop touching my flux machine? It'd be really nice if you stopped touching the machine. You wanna touch the REM pod? Touch the REM pod, make it go off. Wait. If you hover over it, you can make it go off. What was that? Behind you. It sounded like something just moved behind you. Are you behind Angelo? Is there anybody in this room with us? Look how active the necrophonic's getting now. Yeah. We're here, we just want to talk to you. Is Audrey here? Who's here then? Yeah, now now it's going to red. Red is no, right? Yeah, red is no. Do you want us to go downstairs? Oh no no! How come? Why don't you want us to go downstairs? Will you get lonely if we leave you? We got an Annie. Who's Annie? Are you a patient here? Nice. Come on, talk to us. Let's touch my back. Let's touch my back. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the f is touching my back? What the f is touching my back? Yo! Holy f. Something just touched my back. Like straight up and grabbed my back. Like actually, something just grabbed my back. I thought you threw something. I, I still feel it like lingering on my f back. Who was that? Who touched my back just now? 
I'm gonna turn this thing off. His battery died at the worst time. Yeah. Who was it that just touched my back? I turned this machine off, you can't touch this one anymore. Touch the REM pod. The hell was that? Yeah. Okay, that was, that was the scariest f touch ever, dude. It's like something actually like, like went like this on my back. Why did you touch me like that? I don't like that, don't do it again. I think you can again. As I finish saying don't do it again, something brushed my arm, actually, yeah. You're terrible for doing that, I don't appreciate it. I think it's funny though. I mean, it is f***ing <laughs> funny and scary. Get touched by something that you can't see, it's obviously terrifying. It's funny. Are you hiding out in some of these rooms? Oh, what the hell? Oh, dude. Dude, we gotta go to that room right now. We got Something just touched my shoulder. What touched Angelo just now? Yeah, it's like something led me here. It's, it's cool. Look at this room. A surgery room. Yeah. What happened in this room? I think, cause look, the surgical lights are up there. Yeah. And look, another machine would have been here. Look. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like a x-ray machine or something. That's cool. I bet a lot of deaths took place in this room. If you don't know anything about the wave release, unofficially 60,000 deaths, but apparently way more than that. 60,000 60, people died in here. Yeah, 60,000 people were sent down. Yeah, it were, and th that's what was sort of reported. They weren't reporting a lot of it, right? Want to touch the flux again? Where are you? Can you make it go green? Was it you that touched my back? Isn't it weird that it's not getting any color right now? Although it's make. See, look, if I interfere. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Dude, I got grabbed by something on the back. You got grabbed? Like, actually, he got it on camera. Something grabbed my back and I took off running. We have more people in here that want to communicate with you. Do you guys know the significance of an Annie? We, we got an Annie on the microphonic. Wait, bro, yeah. there was like 60,000 people that died yeah. in this hospital. Yeah. So, um, that, and that's uh, officially or unofficially? Unofficially. unofficially. 66,000. Could be more. Yeah, could be way more. That necrophine started going crazy when we started talking about the death. Are there demons in here? Yeah. I heard ghosts too. How many demons are here? A thousand? Oh, bro, that's accurate as hell. A thousand demons? You can't make that up. You know, I wonder if because the place is so haunted, people came in here not knowing what they were doing and, and brought something. From the other side. Like done rituals and stuff, 100%. Because this place was abandoned from 1980 to 2001. Makes sense, people could have done rituals in here. You know why I think something's holding on to that? It's given us, that sounds like, like, a, like a heart machine. Kind of, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Earlier, we were getting SOSs on it. Like actual SOSs on it, yeah. Let me, let me just try something out. Let me, see look, I just touched it right now, right? Let me throw it here. Nothing obstructing it. Look. Oh, now she needs something else. Yeah. It's hanging on to both now, green and red. Stop doing that. Stop. Stop with the red. Oh, now it's doing green. Yeah. Did you suffer in here? If he suffered in here, make it go to red. Oh, it, well, so green is the yes. And when I said if he suffered, it flashed to green, right? 
<gasps> oh, what is that? A wasp. A wasp. A wasp. Yeah, there's a lot of wasps in here. Oh, look, there's wasps. Oh, there's in another one. There's a ton of wasps. Yeah, they're up look, here. Look, they're all like dying. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What killed, what's killing these wasps? But these wasps weren't, weren't moving before. Look, there's wasps. Look, they're all moving now all of a sudden. Dude, it's like they're coming alive. Yeah, but there's wasps. Where are all these wasps from? Look, it's like they're coming alive all of a sudden. There's like hundreds of them on the floor. Oh, there's one right there. Look, these are allergic. These, are allergic. these ones are coming alive too. What the heck is going on? Okay, right, that's really weird. That's so weird. That is she? Yeah. All right, guys, we are making our way downstairs right now. So, I've taken you guys down to the first floor and second floor in the past years ago. I want, and, and it's uh, it's got a very scary vibe to it. Angelo's never been. We actually came into this place and started right up on the fourth. So we're gonna make it down to the first and second and to where the body shoot is. The body shoot is where supposedly 60,000 plus bodies were thrown down into this like tunnel. I've been in it before. There are terribly scary vibes in there, but uh, he's never been, so we're gonna go right now and uh, investigate the first floor and the second and the body shoot. This is the lobby, yeah. It looks different than how I remember it. Wow. Scary out here. It's really cool. It's really cool. We actually, we did have a lot of paranormal happen in this room way back then. There's a piano here for some reason. I don't remember this piano being here. Look at this hospital bed or stretcher over here. Do you guys remember the morgue was down this way somewhere? Yeah, this is terrifying. I remember walking through here a long time ago and just being so scared to walk here by myself. I remember this bathtub full of blood over here. Where the hell am I? I don't remember any of this. Oh, what the f Whoa. Dude, this is terrifying. Hey, you're not alive in there, are you? So I don't remember any of this. Back in the day, holy shit, guys, look at all this. Whoa. This is kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. What the hell did I just stumble onto, you guys? Look at all this. Huh? Dude, come see what I just found. I've never seen this stuff before. So the morgue is down this way. Turn into this room right here. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, but it goes in deep. It's like a maze in there. Let's go in it. Let's go in it. We could actually catch some paranormal in here. The fact that this is in here is so cool. Look at all these. What the fuck? Oh, the hell? Is that what we heard? That's not mechanized for it to move, like, you know what I mean? Like it's a haunted house kind of thing, but it's not mechanized. I feel like that one's an actual person that's gonna come to life that's any what second now. It's gonna scare the bejeebers out of us. We're down here alone, Omar's still on the third floor with Tiffany. Look at all this though. Any spirits in here that want to communicate with us? Oh yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Wow. Well, that's just uh, not nice. That's, that's terrifying, man. Whatever the hell this is. Holy crap. I've never been through this, so this is this is all new to me. Whoa, look at this, guys. Oh my god, a goat's head. Jesus Christ, there's a demon's head over here. This right here is actually terrifying. Jesus. <gasps> These mirrors keep freaking me out. Where the hell are 
are we? I I think it's a dead end. Is it? I think. Unless we're going through here. Yeah, it's definitely a dead end. We can't keep. I wonder if we can open this door here. No. Seal it shut. Oh, what? Oh, spider. spider. <laughs> I know we came here to investigate the Waverly, <laughs> but this is cool. We weren't expecting this. I mean, how cool is that though? A Halloween attraction inside of an asylum, right? All right, so we're gonna go to the morgue. We just got out of this freaking maze. It took us forever. There's a morgue down here. I wanna do some of my investigation in here. There it is, the morgue. This is the real morgue, guys, from back in the day. It's not a Halloween attraction. They actually had real bodies in here at one point in time. Look at this blood over here. So keep in mind, this is a real morgue. This isn't a Halloween attraction. No, this has still been like this. It's, well, I don't know about this blood. This blood kind of looks fresh. It could be maybe for the Halloween, but this was one of the real morgues of this asylum. Are there any spirits in this morgue with us right now? Yes, who are you? What's your name? <coughs> I hear a lot of people died in here. Food. Are you hungry? Dude, I'm getting so dizzy. <coughs> I can't really hear. I just got like. I don't know. I got dizzy and fainty all of a sudden. Actually. Is that you conveying your energy onto me? Is it just here or is it really hot here? It's really hot, but I'm like inch to like minutes away from collapsing my Jumping into the night, sergeants. This room right here is supposedly a really haunted room. The room that I'm about to show you guys is a really haunted room. It's apparently haunted by two females that used to stay in here. A girl named Aubrey, I forgot the other name, but we're gonna find out because they like to tell their names on the necrophonics. When you try to use a spirit box in this room right here, the girls that used to stay here, apparently there was another bed here somewhere, um, they like to tell their names all the time. Apparently if you leave a spirit box on here, they're just gonna keep repeating their names over and over and over and over. It's really awesome that the bed is still here and there's still some remnants of them. I don't know if this here is from those days, but uh, let's find out. I know the bed is original. A lot of the items left behind by people as gifts for the girls here in the closet. That's pretty cool. They left them some money. We'll probably leave something too. Hey! I guess you can't sit on that bed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Audrey's room? Um, Lois and, no, it was Lois and Audrey's together. They were both sisters. Yeah, Audrey survived. Yeah. She, she survived. She got yeah. out and Lois was in here for seven years and died. Wow. So, and supposedly when people play, uh, use necrophonics and spirit boxes, they hear their voices on them all the time. They hear, for years, it was just- It was just Audrey. It just was Audrey. just the word. Audrey, Audrey, like Lois was calling out for her sister. By the way, guys, it's not a ghost speaking. That's Tiffany. <laughs> they can't, they, yeah, they, they can't see you. Um, um, so that's cool that maybe I'll try to get her voice on camera today. Really sorry about the noises of the trains, guys. There's like, like here's train. some really loud trains going. Loud by. trains, loud animals here. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. It's still a cool place to be. Just so you know, they asked me to sit in a chair, and I told them no. So yeah, we did I don't want y'all thinking that they're just sitting in chairs. We were gentlemen beforehand. <laughs> 
So, I'm here with Omar and Tiffany. We're gonna do now the uh, spirit box and try to get contact Audrey. Audrey and who else? Lois. Lois. Oh, I'm yeah. so bad with names. Audrey and Lois. Lois is the one that passed away, yeah. right? Yeah, seven and years she was here. It, Audrey is Audrey still alive till this day? No, so recently, just until recently, finally something new came through the spirit box for people and it's the answer, yes, Lois. So they think that Audrey eventually has passed away and she is now reunited with her sister. All okay. right, that's pretty cool. So I've actually been to asylums like this where people have survived and they've reached out to us mm -hmm. and told us that we, we were in this asylum. Like we stayed here as patients. Here in Not Waverly? Not in Waverly, in different ones. Which is why I was saying, like, I wonder if she survived. Yeah. She got out and then... Oh! Well, K2 just started spiking right now as I said that she survived. It spiked up to red. Lois or Audrey, are you with us? Hello, Audrey. That was a faint hello. Hello, Lois. Calling out Audrey and Lois. Were you guys mistreated here, or were you treated well? Help. Well, oh, that was a crazy help. Just here. Who's here? And who needs help? We would like to help you if you can just tell us how to help you. Who is that I hear? There's a lot of like... How old was um, Lois when she died? I'm not sure. The lady showed a picture of her. I heard 31. Oh yeah, you hear that? 31. You heard that? 31. Yeah, 31 came here. Lois, you were 31? What about Audrey? 46. Was there a little bit? Was Times we've cut out a lot in our in our videos of like motorcycles racing by, I mean even the train going by, like it's, it's really loud. All the windows are open here. Would it be okay with you, Audrey, if we slept in here? No. No. I heard no. That was a faint no. What about Lois? Are you okay with us sleeping here? How many fingers am I holding up? No, no, it said peace sign. You're holding peace sign. Oh, peace sign. sign. Okay, I, peace thought, sign. I thought it said seven. No, it's a peace sign. It literally. Ah. This REM pod is set on the bed. We're actually getting something on it right now. Like a temperature change. Yeah, it's warming up. Oh, there you go. Oh, whoa. There we go. What? Something's touching it right now. Bro, that's cool. Right? Because mm -hmm. remember earlier it wasn't doing nothing. And now all of a sudden something's affecting the temperature around it. Hey Audrey, is that you? Touch it to green if that's you. Your camera froze? Yeah, my camera just is not crazy. Is it still frozen? Yeah, hold on, what is it doing? Let me see. 
going off now. What's it doing? What? Oh! Look, I'm trying to... Something's touching the REM pod. Something. Look. Oh, it actually is frozen. Yeah. Let me try to take a photo while this is happening in here. Our dark photo. Sure. In here? We might capture something. Since there's activity on the REM pod right now... I can try the actual flash on the camera. Try a couple flash. Oh, oh, I think I got something, guys. Like, actually. What does that look like to you right there? <gasps> that looks like somebody sitting on the bed. No, that's not the bed. That's in the hallway. It? Oh, it's looks in the like, hallway? Looks like a face right there, no? Oh, wow, look at that. Does yeah. that li not look like a face? Like a faint of mist or something. Yeah. Like, a, like an actual face right there. Right here. Yeah, you two, can Two eyes and nose? 100%. Like, actually. Oh, wow. That's a good catch, bro. Right there in this area. That's why I'm saying we should take more of these dark photos. Still sitting here taking night photos. Um, REM pods going crazy on the bed. Are you with us, Lois? It like frequent, frequently comes comes and goes, yeah. comes and goes. So that's just heat. So it's change, so there's a change in temperature yeah, on that it keeps, bed. It keeps warming up. Yeah. So we need it to turn a green or blue. It means something's touching it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's green. Yeah, it's green. It's green. Something's touching it now. Oh my God, you guys. What? We've been sitting here in the dark just waiting for it. Thank you, Audrey. Can you do that again? If it was Audrey, touch it again. If it was Lois, touch it again. See how it, when it goes green and blue? Yeah. That's motion, something touching it. All right, we got the SB7 spirit box scanning on the bed since we've been getting activity on the REM pod. Can you here with us? Where did y'all go? Huh? Something slammed over here. What the hell was that? Omar and Tiffany are downstairs. They've been down there for a little while. They went down to the morgue area. That's not like it came in here. From in this area here. What the hell was that though? It's like a door slam? Sound like a door slam in here. Oh, that was like a female's voice. Oh. We, he we heard you loud and clear. Audrey, are you here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. here? I heard two yes. Can you say your name? Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. Hey, Audrey, is that you? If it's you, give us a green. Oh, Touch it. Touch the REM pod. Want to turn off lights? Mm -hmm. Switching lights off, guys. All right, we're sitting here in the dark, Audrey. Or Lois. Whoever you are. Feel free to lie down in the bed. So guys, we are making our way down to the death chute where they used to dump bodies back in the days there. We're gonna do a little bit of an investigation in there now. Mar and Tiffany are going down to the haunted attraction that I took you guys to. We're gonna go to the body chute. Are you excited about this? Dude, this, this you, you'll see the vibes in here is unbelievable. Oh yeah, here we go, I remember this. So through these tunnels over here, they used to haul thousands upon thousands over 60,000 unconfirmed bodies that actually Where did they put them out? so at the end of the shoot yeah. there was like a field and it, they, they were just dumping them down there and they put them in trucks did they just like bury them yeah. no they just there was like a sled type thing yeah it was a really fast paced sled it's they a yep yeah. no one knows where they buried them by the way oh boy the, the, here we go back into the body chute. They had this ramp that goes all the way down. There's a staircase too, if you wanna walk. They put them on like a sled with wheels and they would just wheel them all the way down there. Anybody down there? Hello? 
Omar's got this death whistle, and uh, supposed to wake up spirits, should they say. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So this is an Aztec death whistle, and they say that sometimes it will wake up spirits. I will say it does wake up the cops. <laughs> We're gonna try it right here at Waverly Hills body shoot where thousands of bodies were, I don't know, what's the word? Carried down? Or... No, they were like sledded, bob sledded down. Right, like maybe <laughs> on their stretchers or Yeah. And then there was a hearse waiting for them at the bottom, so you guys ready? Oh, well, let's do it. I've always wanted to hear one of these things in real life. Do it again. <laughs> do it again? Okay. I'm just gonna face this way this time. It's terrifying. Pretty sure the owners are gonna come over here like running like maybe somebody died or something. Yeah. <laughs> Should do it one more time. I say go down a couple more steps. The deeper you go, the more echo you're gonna get. I feel like Bo's gonna push me down or something. No, no. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the coolest damn whistle I've yeah. ever heard. When you hear spirit, you'll be like, shut up. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine you get a scream back though. You know? So the real reason why they put this shoot here for, you know, to wheel down dead bodies was because they didn't want the patient seeing, you know, all these dead bodies. There were so many dead dead people. You know? Imagine so this that. was this was an easy way to respectfully move them out of here and not have the patients get upset. So I, I think it was it was kind of nice that, that they did this. There was usually like a hearse waiting for them at the bottom of the street. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys hear that? It was like a moan, a faint moan that came from the bottom. Maybe we just woke something up. Like actually? I, it was like a, did you hear, you didn't hear that? No. I heard a mom upstairs when I hear. Did we wake up any spirits down here? See, you hear that? There it is again, you got, tell me you heard that. I heard something back there. No, it was, it was, was like echoing, way? yeah. I say you do that one more time in the dark. In the dark. In the darkness. That's gonna be terrifying. Here, how about you do it? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll clean it off. Why me? Cause. No, you just do it. This is the most times I've blown this whistle. This, this is terrifying. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it till the end and you still haven't gotten yourself that Ghost Hunter merch, what are you waiting for? Get yourself the merch. The link is down below. I want to see each and every guy's repping it. Thank you so much for the non-stop love and support. More haunted videos are on their way.